Welcome back viewers, we're well into crunch time now, we're going into the back end of the season, we're into February and survival is on the cards. Two big games today, Swansea and Brighton. Can we get anything? Let's see. Roll intro. everybody welcome back to a chair boy journey episode number 23 and today we play swansea and brighton so two tough games i'm going to start just on this page um a few stats to to show you so we'll start with the player stats so nira dicko and ryan brewster are our top goal scorers with both 11 goals so shows how vital they've been as a partnership highest average rating is david wheeler assist is david wheeler and dicko so Newer Dicko, got to be one of my best sightings probably ever. Be best pass completion is Liam Roberts, which is hilarious since he hasn't played for ages. And player of the match awards are Wheeler and Dicko. So you can see who our, our main players here are. But our team stats it is quite funny, really. So we played 30 matches in the championship. We've got the third highest goals, most, we've got the third highest goal scored with 53. But we've also conceded the most goals out of everybody with 60, which is insane. We've also got the most yellow cards with 80. And the fourth highest red cards, which shows you that Ethan Lair's got 13 yellow cards. We've really kind of bought into that idea of we know what we are. We're companions, you'll know what I'm on about. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's not great, is it? The yellow cards I'm not fussed about, I like to play teams who put their foot in, who kick you, who are hard to beat. I'm a Birmingham fan, I ain't going to apologise for that. Um, but, obviously, 60 goals conceded is something we're going to have to look into in the long term. But, you know, focus on positives. Since you've been gone in that great 2-1 uh, win away at Crystal Palace, at home against Cardiff we lost 1-0. They scored a 91st minute goal in the biggest robbery ever. Not happy about that in the slightest. We absolutely battered them. Then we went to Fulham in the second biggest ro robbery ever. Played a great game again, but again conceded four goals at home. So uh, it's one of the. I mean, we battered them. We played such good football. We went ahead twice, but they, they just, you know turned it round and were able to score more goals than they defended we did though round it off with a 3-2 win against Cholton and again played some great football created a lot of chances but uh, even though we won conceding goals and letting us down again and we played two very tough games against Swans who were seventh and Brighton who were fifth so two tough games against two top teams now as you might have seen through goal scorers and as such I have made some um, transfers. The first one, we've got him back to Heath Chong. I actually did go and look for Gomez, but they wouldn't give him back to me. As you know, he's playing in the Premier League now. But Heath Chong, I had a look at again, I had a look at his stats. Last season, of course, he never really kicked on for us. Of course, he, he did suffer again with being that extra lone player. This season, he's come in, he's played three games and he's changed us. Attacking-wise, him and Wheeler, we have just looked a different level. He's got two assists and a goal already. You know him well. You look at... Uh, he's, I never realised how good he was for this division. He's dribbling, he's first touch, long shots, passing. I think he's really... He's physical as well. I mean, he's, he's quick. His stamina is OK, but his natural fitness, he's just such a good player. I never realised what kind of player we had on our hands so I'm really happy to be able to have the chance to get him back so this is the big one I've gone over the wage budget with this Konstantinos Mavropanos on loan so another loan player from Arsenal of course he's come in and did a good job he was just one and I know you don't want to build defences or teams around loan players but I had to do something and I felt like he popped up and I thought I've got to go for him you know, his heading is very good, his marking is exceptional, his tackling is exceptional. He's aggressive, he's brave, composure is very good, he's quick for a defender as well. 
So I think he's going to be a good player and him and Itako are going to be a good partnership going forward. So on that note, Swansea at home, this is the team that we go for. Super Miggy in goal continues his fine form. Borthwick Jackson has started to kind of make a case for him being our starting defender now. We know Jacobson's retiring, so... 09 comes in. Laird I love, but I'm going to have to figure out something with loans now. And as you can see, all five players are starting, so I don't know who I drop. And whilst Laird's a great player, 09 does a good job as well. Not as much going forward, but I feel like we'll get more from Mavra or Panos. I'm going to have to change that to something. Maybe Con um, will give us more than... Um, will give us more as a player than having Laird in there. So, Borthwick Jackson, Itakura, Mavro and Onayan, Garner and Thunderholt in the midfield, Wheeler on one side, Chung on the other, and then Brewster and Dicko up front. And that front four now, I think, is a very good front four. And of course, adding Chong in there now, who is a good player, but is but he's one of the better players in our team. We've got a real, we've got a bit more creativity now, and I like Twes Burns, but he's not that level. So, while well, we all remember that Swansea game where we bottled it, that was the game where I forgot to, to press record on um, two goals we scored before, before half time, but of course we bottled the second half completely. So let's hope we can make amends here. After ten minutes, it's been very even. I'm going to demand more from my squad. This, they take a little bit of an advantage, although we have lots of possession as normal. As they have a throw here, very early on, and we clear it well. And Dicko collects it here, he likes this, running round the corner, beating his man, and he does. It's a good tackle. Chung picks it up and oh, hits the post. And he will, that's what Chung is bringing us in these games. He's someone who's seeing that. One of the issues we always had with him from the um, League One days was he. He's finishing, so if we can improve that, he will be a good player. As we win the ball back again here, and we will try and get forward, but it's just banned for by Itakura, and they do win it back. They have it out wide now, but 09's in there, but Lucardia wins it back. Byers now, they try and create something. They've got a man over on this right side who they eventually find, but it is going out as we they do keep it in. A good ball in. Can we get there? Norton now. Lacadia. McCormack. And it's over the bar. As Chong will get to this goal kick that is just booted out wide. He beats his man well. Gets it to Dicko. Dicko, and that's a good save there. The free right. kick now with Thunder Holt. Gets a good ball in, but it's collected well by Bender. I remember him. He's a, he's a good keeper, I think. Based on just playing against me, he looks a good, a good keeper. As they try and play out from the back, Lacardia will bring it forward now. By Sheaf. Borfa Jackson heads away. Only as far as Thomas, though, who puts Swansea into the lead in a tight game. It's a good volley, but we, we should react better there. Sheaf tries to put a ball in and we win it back, but it's actually McKay at 4 2 and Thomas on the volley. It's disappointing, really, but you know, just strikes a quality like that you can't do much about. As they try and get something here, as we win the ball back, Wheeler has it. Haven't seen much of him so far. Borthwick Jackson, Garner now. Plays it to Chung. Dicko. It's a good save. Can we get it in? And we can. Ryan Brewster puts it into the back of the net and puts us back on level terms here. And we do really well. They garner. Always that man trying to create something. Chong plays a nice ball to Dicko. It's a good save. Wheeler keeps it alive. And eventually it comes to Brewster who just has an empty net to fire into. We, we let them come on to us there. They're very good in the middle of the park. I mean, like that, it... They, they get the ball there, and it's a good tackle there, but they still come at us. Look, Roberts, the shot is blocked. Now we can break with Chong, and the one person you want this to fall to. Chong's running through, but ugh, Dicko gets in his way, or he gets in Dicko, whatever happened there. We get to about 55 minutes, and I think a change is needed. I think we need to bump it up into attacking and start to go for this. I haven't really seen anything from Wheeler at all today, so Kyle Edwards... 
And I think he's better off the bench. He's going to get a chance now. See what he can do. See if he can change something here. As the ball's out to Chong. Garner plays a good ball out to 09. Can he get a ball in now? Gets it back to Chong. Chong beats his man and it's a good save there by Bender. And just missing once again. I say this a lot but we're just missing something. I demand more. They're very frustrated. And this is where you can see goals and we're, we've done it. It just disappointing really. It's just easy, isn't it? And as I said, right to open this episode, our key problem has been defending goals, defending shots, and conceding. O'Neill loses the loses the ball, but we get it back. Edwards now. I think he's picked up an injury, but he's running through Swansea here. And that would have been a great goal, but it's a good save by the keeper. I think we're playing a very good Swansea team, and of course they're pushing for the playoffs. Uh, ten minutes left. This I feel like this game's kind of beyond us now. We bring Sam Winner on. Who else? They're just they're just knackered now. I've noticed that a lot this season. Garner's a lot more tired than last. Don't know if there's an injury there. They make the changes, but the clock just ticks down. They have the ball here. Can we get it away? We can't, and they have a shot that goes over the bar. Real disappointing a result, really. I mean, we still sit in a good position, and we do have to remember who we're playing. But they've done this twice this season, as we thump a ball up again and it hasn't worked Selena now to Thomas and Thomas hits the bar it's the same it's just the same mistakes as this time the ball over the top works but the keeper he's a good keeper he is he's a good keeper maybe someone we can have a look at I mean if they go up they'll obviously want him but the problem is I don't see where the money's going to come from you know, you can only loan so many players, as of course. Garner's not going to keep wanting to come to a team. And at some point, Man United will see the player they've got or someone else will come in and buy him. And that does bring us to the end of this game. Disappointing. I, I think it, it was just because we were in it for so long and I think they ju it just killed us off. We play Brighton next, we try and put this aside and we play Brighton in what will be another tough game. This sums it up doesn't it, Swansea profit from wasteful chair boys. How many, for the amount of goals we concede, how many chances do we miss? I think this is the, this is the thing. You know, I, I'd love to find out actually how many goals per chances, I could probably find that out but just disappointing. We'll go into the Brighton game. It's not too far away. I am pleased to say that Ryan Brewster ha uh, will be here for us next season. This is something that I didn't realize I could do, but I noticed when I was looking. Um, I noticed when I was just having a look that I could get him now for next season. So I'm glad. I think he's definitely worth it. Garner might be the next one that I have a look at as well for next season, just because, you know, how vital he is. Then at next season, the one thing I really want to do is use the loan system better, not just get loads in. Get Obviously, if I get Garner in, there'll be three more who I think can do very good jobs for us and just be a bit more picky with it. And then once I've got the five, that's it. All right, so here we are. And I'm actually going to make some changes. I'm going to make a big one you might not expect. I'm actually going to bring Loco in. I'm going to drop attacker completely because it one means I can bring Laird back in. He wasn't good enough last game. And I think Loco does deserve a chance alongside Mavropanos. So that's the first change I'm going to make. The next change is bringing Kevin Stewart in. He is going to play alongside Garner. I just think having a ball winning midfielder in there. Against a team like this. Will work better. 
you know, we've got that front four who will push forward. So having someone in there who will put his foot in, I think, is, is the right decision. So we'll see how we do. Brighton, it, it's one of those. I'm not expecting anything from, but I said that against like the Palace and that West Brom game as well. If I wanted to play this, it's like, I could probably get flashed. But if I played it off stream, off game, if I played it off game, what happened at West Brom happened, then it's <laughs> you've missed another one. So we'll see how we do. As I said, we'll probably get battered knowing my luck on here. Every time I turn the camera on, we get we we we, uh, we get battered, but let's see. I'll see you away. That they, they're another relegated side, a good side, fifth in the league. So let's see what we can do. As they will come at us straight away here. Aaron Moy plays a ball out. I mean, just you have to just look at the players, don't you? As we actually win the ball back well here, and Wheeler, we've got man over, but they get back very well, very well, very quick to stop us there. And now I know that's what they have to do, stop the counters, that top um, booster and Dicko getting in behind. As Moy plays a great ball out to March now, who cuts in and scores a beautiful goal there. I already feel like we're a class behind. It's a long way to go. You know, we're only five minutes in, but that was not much you can do about that, really. They stopped our two breaking there. And then March, that, that ball out from... Moy to March is just sensational. What I could, what I'd do with a player like Aaron Moy in my team, he's a he, he's a bit like a guy on the type of player I do like those kind of players who sit in the midfield and just try and create stuff. As Basuma comes running through here, he's just over the bar, and we're just not in it at all. We look a bit. I sound to show some passion. Come on, let, let's fight for this. Maybe it's because I'm uncautious, but we'll see. I do like to kind of switch up and ha at half time and switch up to attack and come at them a bit more, but it's about trying to stay in this game in the meantime. I feel like doing that now would be disastrous. Mm. So they whip a ball in and Stuart fires it to Booster now. Booster's got a chance. Let's see how he does. Once again, they get back very quickly. Chung, first time I've really seen him, plays it back to Ghana and I think against the run of play there. We're back in this. James Garner, the man for the big occasion, doesn't score lots, but when he does, they're important. Bruce does really well here. And the Tahith Chunky he gets it down well and just puts it on the plate for Garner. I think Chung is a great signing for us. And he fires us back into this game. Brighton have a throw. Can we can we stay in this? It's gonna be very difficult. We know how good they are, but we've also shown that we we can score. They're not like unbeatable as Trossard oh, on FIFA I don't play much but when I have he always scores against me so if he scores today I wouldn't be surprised as we win the ball back well again Wheeler up to Brewster Stewart now gets it with Dicko one on one and that's a good save by the keeper and Dalbert just about gets it away for Brighton and we've switched the gear a little bit now we're, we're playing with a bit more freedom we're playing with that kind of ability to the, the lack of fear I think is Garner, can he get that ball out wide to Wheeler? He can. Wheeler to Stewart. Lots of players on bookings again. Laird. And that's the end of the highlight there. Five minutes to go of this half. They have a throw. Can we keep it tight? Dalbuck with a cross in. And we head away. We defend as well. Basuma. Moy. We're putting pressure on them really well here. Really happy. And Porfrit Jackson gets that away. Chung now. We can break. Dicko. He's got another chance here. Takes a shot and this time he does not miss. We've turned this game on its head just before half time. Newer Dicko, always the threat. And we're so good on the counter attack here. Chung, that's such a great ball. And you don't give Dicko two, two chances like that. And that's a beautiful finish there. And there's a highlight straight away. Oh no, have we upset? Have we annoyed them now? Gross is trying to do something here. But we win the ball back again. But it's just. Dicko is um, stopped from getting the ball there as Dalbert comes forward. He's been a real threat. And once again, we get our foot in. We win the ball back. Dicko, Chong now running in. Chong, and oh, he just can't shoot. Creativity is great, but shooting wise, he's really not. And they have a throw again here. Can they do something here? Can we stop the Montoya now? We give him lots of space and it's just wide. And 
I think, oh god, this is still going on. Right, we play up on the back. Loco hooves it forward. Can boost again. He doesn't, but Chong does. There's someone there with him. Wheeler is. Wheeler with a shot and all. It's just wide. And then, as it comes to half time, I can't be happier, really. You know, we come back into the game from going 1 0 down very early on. We've countered so well, you know, so well. But it's just keeping it to oh, There's more goals in this, definitely. Lots of players on bookings. So, see if we get a player sent off and off here, off here for us. I will probably look to take. I mean, we're very tired. They have a corner now. And they do equalise. Lewis Dunk. Always a threat from set pieces. And it's just too, it's too easy. Well, have a look at this again. Can never tell from this camera angle. Yeah, Dunk just stands on his own. Runs backwards. No one challenging him. Right. We come to the hour mark. And I think <sighs> Chong... He's done well, but he's tiring. He's played a lot of games recently. So he, Burns will come on as the first change, and I'll have a look. Oh, see how we do. I'll actually take the point here, but they've got another corner now. I swear we are off just over the bar. I think we're going to go a bit defensive. What we're gonna, oh, they have another cor corner after corner, and they do get the third, and we have to go through it now. We have to go through it. Oh, the second half, we just haven't. Once again, we haven't been able to come out and cause and cause them any problems. Garner's knackered, so he will have to come off. We bring Thunder Holt on. Like for like. And see if he can create. He, of course, gives us a set piece edge as well. Like... It's so frustrating games like this. As Super McGee picks a ball up, I probably they probably do deserve the win. But if we can get a point, it's t it's surely not undeserved. As they will come forward again now, we look so tired, and as they get a good ball in, and Loco misses a header, and that will be that. I assume Neil Malpai, Premier League players here, you know. It's just so frustrating. And I worry about getting dragged back into a relegation battle, really. Booster's knackered as well. Just haven't... I think, again, this this half, we haven't been... I do hope just enough teams in between us. As I said, we've played two very good teams today, so it's... It's not the end of the world. We did play well. Sheffield Wednesday next is a massive one. It's just disappointing. Again, you know, we, we sit 15th still. We're 14 points off, so there's still a lot of teams in between. we still got a fair few points. Fixture-wise, I think this is where we struggled last time, wasn't it? These matches. Yeah, we did have a Swansea and Wright and both beat us in games where we didn't deserve to lose. But you know, we have a we have a a, a slightly better running. Obviously, what for the way is going to be a tough, tough game. They were probably one of the few teams to actually play us off the park. So next time I see you will be the Derby and Reading games. I may also do Stoke in a three game special as well. I haven't done that in a while. Uh, well, uh, well. Um, we're away, we'll play. The, I'll do the Sheffield Wednesday and the Watford game off camera. I think these games are, are free that we should be looking for points. And I want to show you ones where, you know, those games against Swans in Bayern were great, but I want to show you ones where we might win, you know, we might pick up points. We're really coming into the last 15 games or so now. As you can see, I'm running. I'll try and do as many as these as possible. It was so, let's just bring it as to the end of the episode for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like down below. If you want to see more content like this, then press that subscribe button. I've got two saves going on Football Manager 2020 this year. I've just started a new save with Palermo, uh, the Palermo party. Um, so go check that out. These videos run every other day, so Palermo will be tomorrow. If you're new to the channel, this is your first video, then go have a look up 
um, at the start of this playlist. We're on season two in this now, so I have a playlist full of uh, Wickham content for a chair boy journey of our first season, which was in League One. So go check that out. I'll put that above as well. Thank you very much for watching. I've been G24. Hopefully I'll see you again. Thank you. Goodbye.